Here we're taking a look at our crop sheet again. And the reason we're doing this is to talk about how you do a crop archive. So if you remember, we need to have a crop name up here in order for it to show up in our orders. And I've got all these ones sort of filled in here with just generic names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these because they don't actually need to be there. Now I'm going to head over to my order sheet. Now when I go to select a crop here, I want to get up to the top so you can see things. You can see I've only got a few in here now. I still got the generic mixes, but I only really have here the stuff I need to look at. And so this makes it much simpler instead of pulling up this huge long menu with 30, 30 crops, most of which you're not even growing. This just brings up what you need to look at what you're producing. So over the course of a season or many seasons, you're going to change your crops. You're going to add crops. You're going to drop crops. You're going to do some crops seasonally. And it's, a, it's, it's not a huge amount of work, but it's kind of a waste of time to be deleting all this and then entering it all again. So what I've done is created a crop archive sheet, which is here at the end. So what you can do, let's just say we're, we're dropping arugula. So I'm going to copy arugula here. I just select a cell. I hold down shift and then just use my uh, cursor down key to select all those and then do control C. You'll notice I'm not selecting this, this last thing here. This is a calculation. We don't need that in the archive. That, that stays there. I'm going to take this over to the crop archive. You can see I've already got one in here. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to go control shift V, which is, oh, that did not work because I missed one cell. I'm going to control Z. <laughs> These things do happen. Let's go back to, <laughs> let's go back to our crops. See, I didn't select the arugula part there. So I'm just selecting all that. Going back to my crop archive. And then control shift V and control shift V just uh, uh, puts the values in there. You're not copying a lot of uh, formulas or anything like that. So it just fills in, in, in this thing here. So now when I, and when I want to get arugula back, I can just take this and copy it back in. And I may end up, you know, I'll copy it here and I may end up putting it in a different place in, in here because maybe I've got a bunch of other crops and then my new arugula one ends, ends up here. I'll control shift V it into there. Um, so yeah, you can see they just they really uh, they they just move really easily. Uh, it's a very easy copy. Just be sure not to copy this formula down below. Um, one other thing is there are some hidden cells in here. You'll notice this between each of the sizing. So um, those will get copied there. Just keep them hidden. Uh, they're just used for filters, and you don't need to see that stuff. Again, it's more information on the screen than you need. So that's a real quick way to make sure you have a record of all your crops. And I will fill out the crop archive with a bunch of crops so you have some good information to draw from, all of which you can edit to meet your own needs.